stay up past your bedtime. Space is proud to sponsor the Midnight Madness program at the 2011 Toronto International Film Festival. At the witching hour, get your fill of shocking and rocking movies. The Midnight Madness program at the Toronto International Film Festival, September 8th to 18th. Brought to you by Space. to somehow wake you up and keep your attention. And to... <laughs> maybe or you're lucky, maybe in this film. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen in the next uh, 100 minutes? Um, but uh, when I was doing the selections uh, in the summer, watching films, uh, trying to find the good ones, yes, it sounds like a great film, like a great job. I watch films all the time. I watch bad films all the time, okay? And I was at this point in the summer, I was like getting really restless the stuff I was seeing. I saved you guys from a lot of bad films, trust me. And then I put this in the DVD player and I got so excited by this one. And it totally fits in because you guys are here late at night. The film's called Sleepless Night. The title in French is Nuit Blanche. And I'm really excited to introduce to you the director of this new action crime film, Frederick Jardin. Amen. I didn't expect this. I was completely floored because we were able to get the actor from the film. Maybe you've seen him in his other film, Largo Winch, Donner Sizely. So oh, Donner, you're such a rock star. <laughs> Hi, everybody. No, it's great to be there. I have nothing, I mean, I have not too much things to say before the film. Maybe we can talk after the film, if you like the film, but... Uh, yeah. You guys don't know, and, uh, nobody, nobody knows anything about this movie, right? No. All right. No, no, it's not spoiling anything. I mean, you already know that the girl dies after a half an hour. Or <laughs> oh, you, you didn't know that? Hey man, I'm really, really happy to be here, and I, I hope you enjoy this movie as much as we enjoy doing it. And uh, we'll be here uh, right after the movie. If you have any questions, we'll be happy to answer. All right? Yeah. Well, uh, enjoy the film. Enjoy the movie. Thanks. I'd like to really introduce to you the director of Sleepless Night, Frederick Jardin, and our hero, Thomas Sizely. Spoiler after all. Yes. <laughs> so first, I want to ask you. This is this is actually a first kind of action and crime film, and uh, you uh, co-wrote it with uh, the screenwriter. How did you come up with the idea to do this one? This is a departure from what you had done before. L'idée c'était de faire un, un, un film euh, sur la paternité. He thinks the, the question is really stupid. Mais en mouvement. <laughs> Un film sur la paternité en mouvement. And he, he really doesn't give a fuck about the answer. <laughs> are, are you a father? Did you write this for your son? <laughs> yeah, I have a son. He's 12 years old. And um, uh, I wanted to talk about... Uh, I don't know. Filiation? Is it uh, filiation? Filiation? 
Paternity. Paternity. Uh, but in action. That was the, 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 the beginning of my inspiration when we, try, uh, when we start to, to write the script. And um, I wanted to, uh, to, I wanted, je voulais une histoire avec un, un mauvais père, not a very good father at the beginning. You wanted a story with a, a bad father. <laughs> no, it's true, I'm not, no, this time I'm not joking. Qui, et qui devient progressivement who, un héros. And who progresses, aux yeux de son becomes, fils. becomes a hero in the eyes of his son. Et son fils devient un adulte. And his son becomes an adult. Et tout ça en quelques heures. And all this in a few hours. En une nuit. In one night. Nuit blanche. Merci. Et comment vous avez fait pour nous caster ce homme comme notre héros Parce que Tom Hale est probablement en France le seul acteur qui peut être. Comment vous dites ça He can be. Uh, he has emotion in action. Lost in when he's running, and when he's when he's moving, there's emotion all the time. He dégage une émotion en bougeant. Et voilà, c'est quelque chose de très rare, je trouve. Et il can translate. Non, je peux pas. I think everybody has. Understood what I'm saying. And how did you prepare for this role? I mean, Largo Winch was uh, uh, a um, Burma conspiracy. The two Largo Winch films are action films. You went through a lot in this film. How did you prepare for this role? You mean physically? Look, the, the, the shooting of Deepest Night came two weeks after we finished shooting Largo Winch 2. So physically, I was really in shape. That was not the problem. The, and uh, concerning the, the part, uh, somebody asked me a question just before we started, just before the screening. Uh, somebody asked me if, how I prepared, how I prepared for, uh, you know, the, the, the cop thing, you know, like acting wise. And, all that. and in fact, the answer is that there, there was there was really no preparation to do because. Um, it, it's it's really mainly the story of just any any human being. Um, I think I think anyone would react the way he reacts uh, if your son gets kidnapped. So uh, it, you know it's just a very natural thing. You don't have to you don't really have to prepare to that. You just have to believe that. You know, uh, and uh, and and we were shooting uh, the circumstances in which we shot this movie really helped a lot to believe the imaginary situation because we shot all of this in the real location it was really it really looked like a nightclub and it was really packed with people and so everything you know every, everything helped to just believe the situation and that's all i had to do he did the rest and, and did you shoot the film in sequence Sequence? You mean in order? Yes. No, it was completely the beginning and the, I mean, the end of the beginning of the shooting and uh, it was uh, in three different countries, Luxembourg, France, Belgium. So the kitchen is in Luxembourg and then the restaurant is in Belgium and then the, the, <laughs> the dance floor is in France. I mean, it was a kind of a, a puzzle. Yes, it was very, very complicated. Like you open a door in Belgium, you cross the door, and suddenly you're in Luxembourg. <laughs> that was because of the co-production, of course. Uh, and uh, your uh, director of photography is actually Tom Stern, who is Clint Eastwood's photography uh, director of photography. How did you get him involved, and in why? At the beginning, I wanted to do the film in in black and white because in the discotheque we know all the colors. It's red or green, and it's boring, but. Uh, my producer was not agreeing with this, so... Uh, By the way, the producer is here, yeah. Mark. <laughs> and also, the producer did a fabulous French uh, prison film, A Prophet. So... Uh, uh, and, uh, uh, so I told him that... Uh, uh, I wanted a picture like uh, Million Dollar Baby. Because in Million Dollar Baby, it's, it's, 
this color it seems to be black and white. The, 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 the black are very black and the, the people of them are in very dark. Des uh, endroits sombres. Would you say that? Des endroits dans des lieux. Il n'y a pas peur de... C'est très, très contraste. Yeah, he wanted a lot of contrast, you know. The, 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 and the, 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 the black would be really black, the white really white. Yeah. Cool. So, we sent him the script, and he loved the script, and uh, I met him several times, and we had a great... Uh, um, um, great words. <laughs> <laughs> Euh, on s'est très bien entendu. On s'est très bien entendu, comment tu dis Ouais, on s'est très bien entendu. Oui, tu sais. Somebody... Yeah. Voilà. Yeah, we, yeah, voilà. We, we understood exactly. each other. We came along very well. And I think he was interested at the idea of uh, making a French small film. That was interesting for him also. He, he, he actually is a is a is a professional. I mean, I mean he, he he was in a. I saw him in a in a comedy before, which was a big uh, success in France. The name is Noé Samel, very different kind of film, and he was great in it. And uh, he had a little experience, professional experience, yes. And I chose him also because of the physique. It seems to be. Um, Father and uh, boy, of course. But as, the relationship, yeah. Yeah, as for the, 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 there was something interesting happening on the set. Because you know, when you shoot a movie, um, and, and when you work every day with an actor, you, uh, you tend to become friends very fast. You know, you, you develop a special relationship pretty fast. And the thing, <laughs> the thing was that he was 16 years old. And I don't know if you remember how you guys were when you were 16 years old. You were assholes. <laughs> we all were assholes when you were when we were 16 years old. You know, always trying to test people, you know, and test the manhood and everybody, and and you know, try to find the limits in your relationship too. And and the thing was that I I I really I needed. It, it was important for me not to become friends with. Because because our relationship was not friendly. I was I was a bad father. I was you know, uh, uh, and uh, so I, I needed that. And there was <laughs> there was one. I don't know if you remember that when we the, when we when we were shooting uh, outside of the on, on the parking lot, you know where all the cars were. There was one night where uh, he uh, he uh, he was testing me. He was, at some point he was, he pissed me off and I said, you know, if you do that again, I'll catch you and I'll hit you. And he said, oh yeah? Well, try to catch me. And he started running. <laughs> and, and what happened was that I had to catch him. <laughs> you know, it was important, it was very important in our relationship that I would prove to him that I'm stronger than him. And it took me 25 minutes. <laughs> because he ran so fast. He was faster than me, but I had more experience. And, uh, and in my head, I went like, you, you know, you can run as fast as you want, but I'll never let, you know, I'll never let down. So we kept, do you remember that thing? Do you, you, you don't remember that. <laughs> yeah, well, I remember that very. Anyway, I, I love you know he's, he's a good actor, and I love I love I really love this guy. Yeah. What was was what was the biggest challenge uh, of, of shooting the film? Everything. <laughs> because we had uh, forty days and uh, many shots to do, and uh, now the, the the most difficult thing is to find the the maximum intensity intensity. In the in the le jeu des acteurs, the way the, the actors play. Tomer, of course, and the boy, um, uh, Thomas, but also the the drug dealers, Joestar, everybody.
to push them all the time, to push, push, to be very intense all the time. And that's the major challenge when you are shooting a film. Um, it needs to be very precise and it needs to, uh, to have a lot of energy all the time. By the way, by the way, the whole movie, uh, I mean, some, maybe it might interest some people, the whole movie was shot with photo cameras. It was shot with the Canon 5D, the whole thing. It was a secret. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's hear it.